to my channel it is your favorite girl a marie and today we're going to be doing another foundation wear test slash makeup tutorial i do have the new revlon photo candid glow moisture glow anti-pollution foundation and you guys know that i have been talking about doing a like a product update review but i picked up this one because CVS had launched these, well, Revlon launched these, and I found it in my CVS. And I remembered that I had the original Revlon Photo Ready Candid <laughs> Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. And I did use this in a video um, a few months ago. If I could find that video, I will have it linked down below so that you guys could see this. But I also wanted to try out the Glow, the Moisture Glow Foundation because I ended up enjoying the Natural Finish Foundation. So I was like, you know what? Might as well do a video on the Glow Foundation. So this one is in the same shade 550 Mocha in the Glow Foundation. And then in the regular Natural Finish, it's 550 Mocha. So these are the exact same colors just one is in glow, one is in natural. So while I'm using the glow foundation, I decided I might as well pull out the concealer too. And the concealer is the antioxidant concealer in the Photo Ready Candid as well by Revlon. And this one is in 060 Deep. So I'm super excited to see what's the difference between this foundation and this one. I know this one's gonna have a glow to it, of course, because it says it's a glow, a moisture glow. And this one is a natural finish. So I ended up enjoying the natural finish, like I said, because I'm one of those type of mad girls. I love it. But lately I've been into the glowy foundation and the radiant foundations. If you guys haven't seen, I did do um, a review on the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. So I wanted to try this one out and see if I like it the same way as I like the natural one. So hopefully you guys want to see this type of video and enjoy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell, and give me a like and comment your thoughts on this Glow Foundation from Revlon. Let us know if you tried it down below in the comments. So I am gonna use the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. It's the hydrating one. I don't know if this, this primer is gonna be good with this foundation, but we're gonna try. I've been loving to use this Primer. I haven't had any bad experiences with it yet, so just want to continue to use it. I am kind of testing it out, but I'm going to give you guys like a product update on this because I'm actually enjoying this right here. This serum actually is like a water-based serum and is very lightweight. It hasn't done me wrong yet, so I want to keep playing around with it. So now we're going to go in with the foundation and we're gonna see so I'm just gonna do about that much and we're just gonna blend it and see if we need to build up or what needs to be done oh she does give a glowy feel that radiant feel but she's not full coverage at all light buildable coverage foundation so there we go so I could actually see the lightness but she is very very light and when it says light buildable coverage, it always reminds me of like a BB cream. And I know you guys hear the rain outside. It is raining. I heard in one of my videos that the rain, the sound of the rain is more soothing to you guys. So this time I'm going to leave the rain sounds in the background because it is raining outside and it's like 40 degrees. So I'm not gonna do like a full, full face because of that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it light and simple. So we won't even go heavy on the concealer. We're just gonna, you know, do a, I can't say a no, a makeup, no makeup type of look because all of my looks look like I have makeup on. Okay, you guys, sorry, my sister called me. My son is sick 
at school. So that's why part of this was quiet. All because I was making sure my son gets to my sister house. I did put a light every day type of highlight on. Not too powerful, not too much. Um, the only thing that I feel like is too much is the setting powder. Of course, it's the Cody Earspun setting powder. And I'm just like obsessed with Cody Earspun still to this day. So I can't never find myself getting away from it. So that's the only thing that looks like a little too heavy. And I still try to go light with it so that it won't be too much, but it kind of blurred out everything. The powder that I put on is my Black Radiance Loose Powder in Honeymoon. And sorry that I'm looking down and not at you guys. I was just putting glue on my lashes. I am going to wear it all day, but am I going to give you guys a check-in and all that? I'm not for sure. If I don't do a check-in today, look down below in the hot box or a pin comment so that I can update you guys and let y'all know how I feel about the foundation. But so far, so good with the foundation. It's, it really is a light, light, light foundation as well as a lightweight foundation. I feel like I have nothing on my skin right now, but it is very light, almost like a BB cream like I said earlier. All right, so while we wait for that to dry down, so I'm going to move on while these dry down. I'm going to move on and put my lips on. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Coco. You guys give me some suggestions down below on some good, perfect brown lip liner for my skin tone because I'm still searching for that perfect, perfect lip liner for me. I'm going to use my Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick from Maybelline. This one is in Loyalist. Love the packaging, brand new to the Maybelline line. They came out with some new ones. And here you have it for an everyday type of makeup look, you guys. Well, not everyday. It's just a foundation review. This is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoy like I said, make sure to check the description box or the pinned comment for updates on how this face is wearing. If I do not come back in and check in, I kind of got a long day again today, but I'm not for sure. But you guys, I have kind of been like not knowing what to post, not knowing what you guys want to see. So I just been coming up with these reviews and wear tests to just keep the content rolling. But if you guys would love to request some things from your girl, just request them, please. It gives me more content ideas and keep the videos coming for you guys. I do have two videos, two main videos that need to come up lately. And those will get done this weekend. We're having a change of my filming setup just a little bit. That's why I haven't been doing too much because we're having to redo the garage all over again. Today, as I'm filming, I did post on my Facebook um, beauty page that I do have a giveaway in process. We are currently at 2,300 2, diamonds and gems. And I'm trying to get myself prepared and ready for the 5K giveaway. My 5K giveaway is going to be two winners in that giveaway. And I told you guys that I will be including um, the box in each video from now on until we hit 5K. And then we're going to do a big giveaway with the products so this part of this video will be plugged in every video from now on so i just want to show you guys now just remind you the box is not included okay you guys this box is mine this box is mine i got this from um her subscription makeup box this is the makeup box the media makeup box and I did a review with this box too on my channel. If I could remember or if I could find it, I would link that video because I love the box. But you guys, this box is filled with multiple items and I'm, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be more items that's gonna fill up in it. And it's filled up for two winners, okay? I do have one t-shirt right here. Um, I've been beat by A. Marie Beauty. I have a t-shirt here, but there will be another t-shirt for the second winner. And just to show you guys that this box is deep and 
there's a lot of products in here somewhere in between the time i will take everything out and post a picture on my instagram story or include it in some of the videos but there's a lot of things in this box and it's gonna go for two winners so hopefully you guys enjoy let's run up the comments let's chit chat let's talk about the video that happened today and nothing about the giveaway and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you like comment and subscribe go ahead and click the notification bell so that you won't miss another video from me and in the words of my loyal subscriber i would love for y'all to keep shining and i will see y'all in the next one